So it's Saturday. You already know we about to get to it. The details coming first. Got the door open, I guess. The details coming first. We got oh shit. damn. We got the brushes right here. Drop the damn drill. That's just crazy. That's fine. So we're gonna get to the detail today. You can see this shit is dirty, 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 dirty. We got the brushes here. This one, probably gonna use in like little spots like this, probably. This one, gonna use for the seats in general. This is probably faded, but I know it's dirty as hell too. So we're gonna, we're gonna use it and see how it goes. Um, this one should be good for that, for the seats. Hold up, give me a second. I'm about to try and clean the lens off, see, see if it comes out any better. Yeah. That's good. And we got this one. I'll probably use this one, I don't know, in like little spaces or whatever. The way it works, it just goes right in the drill like this. Probably won't be able to do it one hand, but. I just, you know. That shit's already taking dust up, so when we hit that shit with the uh, with the tough stuff, the spray that we got, it should be fine. Yeah, it's probably mad dust. Right now, we're about to go to Advanced and grab the paint for the frame. Um, we're gonna end up, I don't know, I don't wanna take these brake lines out just yet, but I'll probably take out uh, whatever other lines we got here. Um, I don't know about these lines either to the fuel pump. Probably not. Um, we'll take out most, you know, whatever does whatever is not necessary. I'm gonna take this out. Pretty sure this is just the wiring to the lights and whatnot. I think. Gonna probably take the bumper off. So we can get to painting mostly everything here. Um, I do need a better jack, but we'll see if I can get a hold of one. And we'll paint underneath the cab too. Um, but either way, we're about to go grab the paint right now. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Got the EG right here, so we're ready to go. A nice little handprint right here. It doesn't even look, oh yeah, there we go. This is a small handprint though, it's weird. All right, though. See you guys in a bit. Check it out. So we're leaving advance right now. We just got this uh, duplicolor rust barrier. I was trying to get the gallon because we're gonna try and brush it on. I might just use this for the second coat and this uh, quart for the first coat. But I'm gonna, I gotta go pick up some brushes from the paint store. Um, so this is the rust barrier right here. Uh, we got these little, got this little uh, hand sander and this uh, 40 grit sandpaper we're gonna try and at least clean up the frame a little bit uh, before we do any type of painting. Uh, we about to go pick up the freaking um, the paintbrushes right now. So let's get it. Oh, also, um, we about to go link up with uh, my boy AJ. He's going to follow us back to the crib. Probably just chill with us and uh, probably help out with uh, cleaning up the truck and doing some paint and whatnot. So let's get it. We lit. Gangster man, nigga pull up on a moped. He said, "Fuck all the bullshit." You know the vibe. EG's got the good cup holders. You feel me? Stick the straws right there. Right, we are. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I have this like I should written it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, neighbor man hooked us up with the shop vac for a little bit. Gonna use this to vacuum the seats and vacuum the inside and everything like that. But, uh, yeah, that's nice. We got everything we need here. We got the liners for the quarter paint. And we got the spray. We're probably, we're probably gonna use this spray for the bottom of the cab um but we got the brushes and everything we need here we're basically about to get started right now they probably would have put mud tires on Plug in the batteries and whatnot, just so that uh, Your hands look disgusting. I know. I'm gonna plug in the battery just so that it can have some charge when we go to do the inside of the truck, and I'm gonna plug in the shop back also just so that it's ready. Yeah, it's charged. Yep, I'm gonna take this out of here. I'm gonna new piece. Cut a little bit of it off. Have it. So basically we're gonna go, we're gonna hit this like this, basically. We're not gonna do nothing major, just kind of scrape it down a little bit so the paint can stick. I'm gonna take care of that and we'll get back with you guys after. Peace. as you can see. I'm gonna use this to crack the court real quick and then we're gonna uh, get started on painting the frame. I'm gonna do it on the ground right here. I'm gonna pour some right here in the freaking thing. And you know, I probably should have mixed it up. Mr. Painter. I ain't no painter, but I know how to paint. See him? <laughs> I'll hit you in the face. I gotta get AJ a paintbrush too. Hey AJ, don't you have to say? <laughs> Taking off his jacket real quick. <laughs> Should put the, I need like a little table. There. I'll put them on the boat right on the side. Hope they don't fly away. Don't know. Yeah, we can now it's mixed up. Looks better, less watery. Right, there's Oops. more than one, boy. I know, there's a lot in there. So it looks like that venom from Spider Man. It smells terrible. That's paint for you. Or whatever this is protective coating. It's like a more like a rubber, honestly. Liquid rubber. Uh, let's see how let, this, let me, this let me, applies I'm, I'm first. A, I'm gonna start and then we'll see how it goes. I'm probably gonna start back here to make sure. Wait, in the back, start here, like. In, in let's see this piece. The right lighting. Here. I'm gonna start right here. Okay. Carefully, you don't get none on the bumper. Bumper on the other side. All right. Let's see. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Feel me? That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at this. This about to have the truck looking right, baby. All right, so you want to do that on this side? Face it. Right, <laughs> I'm gonna get us right. So this house coming out right here. We're literally just gonna keep doing this. We're gonna get back with you guys when at least the top and the bottom have a coat. We'll let you guys know how it's looking in a minute. Check it out. All right, as you can see, this is coming out amazing. It's gonna look real nice when we're done. Fire. Look at that, from there to there. I'm gonna cover it all. I'm about to get underneath right now and uh, get the bottom of the frame going. There's a lot of parts that we're not really worrying about, you know what I mean? Like things that have, that, you know, are connected with bolts, you know, that can come out. So that's gonna be simple. Uh, once we get the first coat on, we're gonna get in the truck and start doing uh, what's gotta get done in there. But we're really getting to it, so let's get it. Also, I've, I have all these bolts. Yeah, you could you could paint over those. Yeah, that's fine. Look at that. Big difference. It's gonna look super nice when we're done. We are really getting to it, yo. This truck is gonna be so crazy when it's done. All right, we'll check you guys in a minute. top going pretty good like i said we're not gonna worry about the leaves right now because i don't even know what we're gonna do with those just yet um yeah we're pretty much getting to it the top is looking real nice i gotta get underneath and yeah I, as you can see i'm getting sloppy with it but i don't that none of that matters because this is just to cover the rust literally you know so um yeah the top is looking good teamwork makes the dream work you feel me we can really get into it right now but um what was I gonna say? I gotta get underneath, make sure we get some other pieces too. The parts we can't reach, like in there, you know, little stuff like that is what we got the spray can for. And also underneath the cab, we can do a little bit. Obviously, I don't know how long, the, I don't know how much the can is gonna be able to do because this stuff is like rubber. But um, yeah, we're gonna keep getting to it. Uh, once we start letting that set up, we're gonna go inside and just start going crazy. You already know, let's get it. Real quick, before we uh, get to painting the bottom of the frame, about to uh, hook up a battery right, right here and see if we can get it started. I, I honestly 100% doubt that this is gonna start, but the man I bought it from, the old man I bought it from said that it starts, runs and drives. Obviously it doesn't drive because there's no drive shaft. So I say 99.9%. Uh, .9%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 99.9% .9 is not going to start. But it's got belts and everything. About to hook up the battery real quick and see uh, what we can do. I'm about to take the battery out of the EG. Yeah, you're pulling it right now. All right. All right. Obviously, you guys never seen the motor. So this is the introduction to the EG right here. B20B GSR transmission is what it is. 421 headers, aluminum radiator. That just had to get replaced because the stock one exploded. Um, but yeah, let's grab the battery real quick. This is what we came here for. Like I said, we got a lot of work to do on the EG, but you know, it all comes with time. 
right, let's get it. Oh, this dog, yo, jumped in the freaking truck again. That's all right. All right, I'm gonna set the camera right here somewhere. Just give me a second. Should be fine right there, I think. I just need to hook up the battery real quick. Or you can hold it if you want to. Got my boy AJ about to hold the camera. Oh, this, yeah. We're gonna have to rig this up. Oh, wait, I hear something. All right, let's see. Uh, like I said, this is probably not going to start, but we'll see right now. Hey, get out of here. What are you doing? Go. Crazy. Hey, hey, you're getting, you're getting yourself stuck, man. Stop. Be careful. All right. Uh, guarantee it's not going to start. Oh, we got lights. We got lights. I'm guessing that's neutral. Yeah, no start. Chuck does not run or drive. Obviously, we, we already knew that though. We just wanted to see what would happen. All right, uh, we're gonna get to the bottom code of the thing. We already knew what was gonna happen though. Let's unhook this battery, put it back in the EG. Yeah, like I said, not surprised. I wasn't expecting to run and drive. There's an animal living in that thing right there. All right, here. EG's got a set of problems too, you know. It's got a, it's leaking from the distributor, stuff like that. We'll tighten those up in a minute, but it's a pretty sweet build and uh, Shit was out, bro. yeah, it's fast. I'm gonna end up putting something here. I just keep it like this because it takes plenty of air. But you already know. Are right, we about to get to the bottom of the frame right now? Let's get it. All right, we're back. I'm about to grab. What do I do with the spray? The spray's over here. I'm gonna get underneath the truck, uh, do some good spraying down there. So far, the bed or the uh, frame is looking great, the chassis. We, I wanna get to the inside before uh, it gets too late in the afternoon. So right now I'm gonna get underneath and start spraying spots that uh, you can't get to really with the brush. Little, you know, tiny spots, you know. Right there I could get with the brush, but I'm not going to, um, you know, whatever. It definitely back here. I'm gonna hit with the brush, try and get some under the cab. And after that, we're gonna get to the detail. Let's get All it. All right, so it's looking pretty good for today, at least. Obviously, we didn't cover these, those come in and out, so it's not a big deal. It's looking pretty good for today. We got a nice uh, coat on the top, on the bottom. Obviously, you know, whatever you see that's still got surface rust on it can be replaced, and it probably will be replaced. So. We're not gonna worry too much about that right now. The differential, we'll do that at a different time. Um, you know, we did a little bit of underneath the cab. I ran out of this can um, and I, I got more in this can still, but I'm gonna grab another one and I wanna do the rest on a different day. So we got a little bit, like, you know, it's still drying obviously and I did it real sloppy because I was that can was running out. So uh, we got a little bit done underneath the cab. We're gonna do more either tomorrow or next weekend. But now I want to get started on the inside, start vacuuming, cleaning up, see what we can do here. I'm going to see about taking this up and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes for now. You know, like I said, we're heading out soon. So we just want to make sure we do as much as we can and uh, we'll see you right now. Let's get it. <sighs> Finally. If I skipped it, it's because it was taking way too long because I'm using half-ass tools right now. Let's see about unplugging this real quick. Oh, this isn't even plugged into the bus real quick. side done. AJ's over there working on the back of that side. We're gonna hit it with the tough stuff right now. All right, we got the tough stuff. What do you think we should spray first, the seats or the carpet? 
Let's do let's do the seats first. Why not? Right? I wish it would spray out more, it's not spraying out too much. So basically we're gonna hit like this. Man, this shit's got power. I wonder if there's any way to turn it down. Nah, this one don't have any settings like that. Anyway, I'm gonna hit this with the drill. I'll get back to you guys because I think I'm gonna need two hands for this one. So I'll get right back to you guys after I hit this with the drill. Let you guys know how it's looking. I'm gonna do the other side, but first we're gonna do this side to see how it comes out. Peace. Right, this is how it's looking. First seat, second seat. Well, technically that's the first seat, but look at that one compared to this one. That's with Tough Stuff, uh, Drill Brush, and the Shop Vac. It's looking real good. So we're gonna do the other side, and then we're gonna do the carpet, and uh, that's gonna be it for this video, at least for right now, because you know we got a lot more work to do. I think next we're gonna you know, work on cleaning up the engine bay and trying to get the motor out. But for now, this is where we're at. Looking good though. All right, we're looking good. They're just about done. I might run them one more time, you know, tomorrow or something, but for now they look great. Definitely gonna keep these for sure. About to do the floor. We to wipe down the dash and everything and then we're calling it a day for sure. Uh, probably the door panels too will wipe down. And uh, I want to take this down right here. So we'll do that and that'll be it for today. Let's get it. All right, uh, ran out of the tough stuff and don't really want to go grab more right now. Got a gallon mixed with soap and water. I'm not sure how it's going to come out, but we're going to see right now. All this is kind of in the way, but it should be fine. There's like a little bit of water in there. matter if everything gets uh, wet That's, you know the point anyway all right we're gonna get to doing this and then we'll show you guys out there yeah it's looking pretty fire though most of it done thanks we're getting it done seats look good you can they look better in person honestly you see more red in person but you know we'll get better clips carpet is looking all right we're gonna pass over that. It's getting kind of late over here. So we're gonna get back to that, you know, probably tomorrow and do some more things to the truck tomorrow. Just real quick, I'm gonna take that. Uh, I don't even know, I don't remember what that's called. I'm gonna take it out of the, the hood, the, underneath the hood. And that's gonna be it for today's video. But she's looking good inside now. She's looking good outside now. We're really getting to it, yeah. That, I'm. this is also what we're gonna do tomorrow. But, she's looking real good right now. It's a work in progress, baby, but it's getting there. Real quick before we end the video, <clears throat> I'm gonna take this down. Damn. Hey bro, you trying to hold the camera for me real quick? You said? Trying to hold this for me?
actually have some rap buddies living up in this shit. Niggas got hungry, ate that shit for dinner. All right, I'm gonna show the EG one more time. We made a mess, as you guys can see. Made a huge mess, but really get into it. EG, say bye. Yeah, we're gonna start putting stuff. Uh, just put it on the uh, on the floor, yeah, on the floor. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. Obviously, we made a mess today. I even made, I threw trash over there and everything, but we're gonna clean it up. Appreciate you guys for watching. We'll check you out next time. Peace.